بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو آل آف یو آن مائی یوٹیوب چینل دی ورلڈ آف پلانٹس بائی سبین ظہور وتھ ہوپ سو دیٹ یو آل ول بی فائن ہیئر از مس سبین ظہور پلانٹ پیتھالوجسٹ فار دا ڈفرینٹ ہیومن ڈیزیزز مینی آف دا پیپل ٹیکنگ دا کیمیکلس ڈرگس میڈیسنس انجیکشنس ٹو پریونٹ دا باڈی فرام اینی ہارمفل افیکٹ آف دا پیتھوجنس مائکروبس bacteria, viruses, and obviously from the parasites. These chemicals and drugs are called the vaccines. The process is called the vaccination. And the system is called the immunization. So with hope so that all the students click the topic of today's discussion. In today's topic, we have to find out the answer of the some questions. And these questions are, what are the pathogens? What is vaccine? How we can prevent our body from any harmful effect of the germ? How immune system responds to the germ? Historian said that the origin of vaccine was got back to the Asian Asia and Africa. Early version of the Viron cow vaccine was believed that it have been discovered in response to the deadly disease known as the smallpox. The smallpox which was widely spread across in many countries and villages and affected poor and rich people equally. First time vaccine like treatment was developed to prevent from the sickness. And this technique which known as the virulation was used by the purposeful from the person being affected by the smallpox by placing the smallpox soar into the skin of the infected person. This caused the milder disease than the first smallpox infection and in the resultant person gaining lifelong immunity. Smallpox killed the approximately 400,000 deaths of the European people in the 18th century. In the 1796, Edward Jenner, an English doctor, demonstrated that the cowpox treatment could also prevent from the smallpox disease. This is because two viruses that are very similar to the human immune system. Dr. Edward injected the cowpox germs in the body then taking the cowpox sore injected into the body. The little boy infected from cowpox had a mild disease, illness, not all dangerous from the cowpox, like the smallpox, and he recovered quickly. When Dr. Edward Jenner later believed that smallpox viruses boy to expose smallpox, Then he did get sick. His immune system got trained and fight against the smallpox viruses infection. Dr. Edward injected the cowpox germs in the body. Then taking the cowpox sore, injected into the body of the boy. The little boy infected from the cowpox had a mild disease illness, not all dangerous, like the smallpox. and he recovered very quickly. When Dr. Edward Jenner later delivered the smallpox virus boy to expose smallpox, then he did get sick. His immune system got trained and fight against the smallpox virus's infection. Because of the exposure of the cowpox immunized, A fact is created the word vaccine. Dr. Jenner explained the word vaccine. Vaccine is come from the Latin word vaca which means the cow and vaccinia which is come from the cowpox. Dr. Jenner discovery the ultimately is used in the development of the modern smallpox vaccines. This is an amazing public health achievement. It is the beginning of the more vaccine development in the world. The scientists using this discovery 
developed the polio vaccine which is dangerous for the CNS system, center nervous system and can cause the paralysis in the body. This was a very dangerous disease but polio is now very rare. Vaccines are very much beneficial for the childhood disease, measles, mumps, rubella, since birth. Vaccines of the this disease miraculously decrease the number of cases in the human. So, at the end of the day, we big thank to you, to the individuals, Dr. Jenner, the person who were injected with the cowpox virus and trained their immune system. This was the great discovery to fight a little and training our immune system for the future protection. For that we thank you due to the development of the vaccines disease such as the polio, measles, mumps, chicken poxes, rubella now can be preventable. This old childhood disease now preventable by using the vaccine. Before the disease, vaccines can be used to prevent the body from any pathogenic, any parasitic, any virus, any bacterial infection. And you know what? What are the pathogens? Pathogens are the microscopic living organism which are able to cause the diseases in the human body. So, in the end, I am just concluding that you have got the answer of the question which we raised in the starting of the lecture. The question was, what are the pathogens? How we can prevent our body from any harmful effect of the germ? How immune system responds to the germ? What is vaccine? What is the function of the vaccine? How the childhood diseases can be preventable? So with hope that you all are understand with the today's lecture and you have got all the answers of the questions. So thank you so much for listening to me. This is Ms. Sabine Zahur, plant pathologist. If you have any questions, you must have to ask me. You can write your every question in the comment box. I will definitely give you the answer of your every question. So thank you so much for listening to me and keep watching. Keep subscribe my channel and like all the videos. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz. Have a wonderful day.